Hi. Let's do a quick survey. Do you think exercise is important? How many of you think exercise is important? Can you raise your hand? Wow. 100%. Yeah. How many of you do exercise every day? Why? My, my concern is if it is important, why we are not doing? Why? Lazy, yes. What else? Busy, excuse, yes. What else? Because it might not be too critical for us at this moment. Right? If it is not too critical, so what is critical? Your work is critical. Your house chore is critical. What to cook is critical. Sending them to tuition is critical. Right, so I really agree to what Dr. Troy has shared just now. Back to basic. So what I'm going to share today is learning to move and moving to learn. Right, so we start with some exercise. So let's, uh, don't be so formal. You may want to stand up and stretch your body. It's very important to move our body. Right, why? Body, moving body, moving our body to do exercise is not just for our physical health. Yes, it is important, but according to a lot of research, a lot of survey, a lot of case study, peer journal paper, doing exercise is very critical, especially for children with autism. All right, when we do our exercise, over here, what I'm going to share is about focusing on central nervous system, which is a very basic thing for learning. In order for our child to attend to a higher level of functioning, and we need to do a lot of exercising in order for them to move the body, to train the central nervous system to have more connections, neuron con uh, neural connections. All right. So in order to achieve that, it is possible. It is possible to use the not so expensive method. It is possible to do it every day at home instead of, I mean, sending them for therapy is important, but parent role is more important to do it every day. So it has to be consistent. So those are the areas that can be triggered, that can be stimulated further, especially when we are dealing with children with autism, they might have language issue, they may have certain behavior that, you know, flapping the hand, they might have certain issues with social, they may have certain issues with receptive, receiving of the information. So those disorder can be improved by using proper intervention program. This is what other study has said, right? There are many, many studies talk about importance of exercise. Plenty. If you go to the internet, you text the importance of exercise, how to do exercise for the children with special needs, children with autism, you get full list. Right. And all this talk about reduced routine behavior, improvements in the social communication, improvement in the sensory seeking behavior. Right. There are a lot more. Right. The last two papers uh, was uh, my paper, which I published last year and the following year, I mean previous year, is talking about autistic manner mannerism, improving in the social communication, social connection, social motivation. Those are the social, social competency. So let's start the main topic today. Right. Do you like exercise? What sort of uh, exercise you are doing every day? Every time when I ask parents, all right, talk exercise. Oh, time exercise, yeah, exactly. But so much into electrical gadgets, so we do our time exercise, isn't it? Now throw away the gadgets. Back to the basic to learn how to do proper exercise for your child at home. First, you might need to have this, which is a trampoline. Right, we are using trampoline every day, and I want the children to jump on the trampoline every day. Right. How many sessions per day? Parents always ask me. How do you consider is enough? Parents always ask me. And according to my experience, we want to incorporate the fun, the joyful parts during the exercise. We're not going to force the child to do it like a military training. It is, has to be fun. But I have seen parents, they're too eager in order to attend to achieve, to achieve the level of, the, of improvement. So they tend to force the child. So the child while jumping on the trampoline, crying, struggling, 
and it defeats the purpose. Are we not going to do that, all right? The elements of trampoline is important for a few purpose here. For anxiety, to reduce the anxiety, the repetitions of the movements enable them to feel safe, all right? And sensory needs, great stimulation, coordination. Right. There are many different types of benefits, and let's see the video. This is one of the sessions that we conducted. This is a normal jumping. There are different levels if we were to use a trampoline. The basic is, of course, the jump. And the second is incorporate maybe certain academic tasks. So what I always want to do is, not only for children with autism, children with learning difficulties, to learn the alphabet, it's so struggle to sit on the chair to learn. Then don't sit. They can just jump on the trampoline and do it. It is faster, it is easier for you to teach, and it is better and more efficient for them to learn. Sorry. Okay. Let's talk in our, about another our activities that we always use at home. You might not have this thing at home. This is a slide. Right, you can use a, a smaller smaller one with a four wheel in order for the children to actually uh, use the slide to do some exercise and training. So look at this. When the child put herself in this position, right, it's basically stimulating the central nervous system it is moving up to the brain function, and when she uses her hand to move left and right, it's basically, basically coordination. When, when we are dealing with them, most of the times it's multitasking. So once they actually are on this position, we give them a ball maybe. Okay, we, we give them a ball for them to bounce the ball to the wall and to catch back the ball. So you see this child. Strength training, right? Moving, moving up, uh, eye hand coordination, body coordination. It strengthens the muscle. Along the process, uh, we're not going to help them, and they have to be, they have to learn by themselves how to adjust the body and how to do. It. And these sensations is very important for the vestibular system, right? And it is part of the sensory integration training, of course. Once we do this. It's, uh, it's actually enabled the child first to learn how to control the strength. Why is it important? Because I've seen a lot of parents that are telling me that my child is maybe having some problem in social skill because nobody wants to mix with them. Why? Because they like to hit people. They, like, they are aggressive. But what I notice is, is it might not be a behavioral problem. Is they do not have the sufficient, they do not know how to control their strength. They might just want to say hi and give you a high five, but it ended up maybe using the wrong way during the social interaction sessions. So in order to build up the child to be more, to be, to be more alert, to be more aware, and of course to have more better executive functions, exercise is important. Another one. Yeah, it's oh, exciting, isn't it? Do you feel it? Can you feel it? All right, you have to feel, you have to do it because once this exercise is incorporated, it creates a, a lot of visual sensation to the child. So they have to do the job, the brain automatically have to do the judgments, have to process the information in order to hit the right target. So balancing activities is one of the activities that we actually do uh, during the sessions. You can have this, you can buy, it, buy this, anywhere just to let the child to learn how to balance the body again back to central nervous system and it connect to the brain function for the proper performance and the functioning all right can you see this video okay so single leg chair have you seen this before yeah, no, okay. yes. So right. this is the one that you can replace. Instead of letting the child to you know, uh, use the normal chair during the dining, or you use the normal chair during the writing sessions, you may want to use this chair to replace the normal chair. Again, building up the central nervous system. So what I want to emphasize here is, a lot of activity can actually be incorporated 
during the daily tasks, uh, in the daily routine. So I have seen some of the uh, childcare or even the kindergarten that they are using the ball to replace the normal standard chair. Why? Because they already know that it's important when we want to do the, uh, the right stimulation, it has to do it uh, during the normal setting and while, while the child is dealing with the table tasks. So again, some of the tasks that we do, that uh, you can do it at home, through the proper way, the right methods, it is possible to achieve. Therefore, you have to be very consistent to do it every day. Therapy ball is another one to create a lot of sensations, a lot of you know, vestibular stimulation for the brain to work, for the brain to function properly. Strength training. Right. Some parents ask me, would it be too tough for my child as in, you know, too heavy? Children, basically, they have their own way to adjust. When I see parents, some of the parents, when I ask them, uh, did the child crawl during the early stage of their development? They will say no, because the, the floor is too dirty. They will say no, because I'm worried that my child will injure the knee, or there are a lot of dangerous items uh, along the, uh, at, the, at homes that I do not want him to do that. Right, but do you know that crawling part is important? And uh, it actually building up the ability for the child maybe to sit still, uh, good body posture, to pay enough attention, right, to copy words from the bot, it will be easier. So instead of, what I mean is, instead of blocking them or stop them from a proper development, it is very important to create the right environment, the right opportunity for the child to learn how to adapt their body, how to change the strength. We create this opportunity for the child in order for them to improve in different area of their life. So those are some of the sensory activities that you will normally see in the therapist center. But you can have this one at home as well, at swing. Now this one. During my PhD study, I use a lot of, uh, we use this core muscle training. It's a form of strength training in order to observe children with autism in terms of their social, respons uh, social responsiveness, in terms of their behavior in, te in terms of their learning ability. So these are some of the set, set of the activities where you can actually bring home and you do it every day, which is on the floor. So it has to be on the floor, it has to be with a certain step, proper method, and it has to be consistent. So on the floor, during core muscle training, to build up the muscle, to build up the central nervous system, and automatic, automatically, of course, it will actually link to the brain development. So have a look at this one. It is so simple, it is so easy, yet it is very effective because it has been proven. But parents, they don't, they don't want it probably because not persistent enough. Probably because it might be too easy. In fact, the best therapy center is at home and the best therapist is actually parent. So do not overly dependent on, depending on the therapist. You might, the child might only like meet the therapist once a week, twice a week, but therapy has to do it every day. It has to be very consistent. It has to be with the proper method and strategy. So you may, have a, you may want to have a look again at certain activities. Emphasize on this activity to build up the to build out the skill, to build out the uh, cognitive level for more improvements for the child in the future. So you see again, right, when they are doing this, it's actually building out eye-hand coordination. And those are the skill, basic skill in order for them to be ready for advanced learning, such as sitting down during the table task, sitting down to communicate with people, uh, during the writing task, coloring task. If they are not ready, then there's no point forcing them to sit on the task, to sit on the table to complete the task. Instead, you have to understand the learning pyramid. Everything starts from the central nervous system. All right, so this, those are the activities that normally we incorporate and we want parents to do it. Doing puzzle or putting the, the, the blocks, the color subtle, when you are using this way, we are providing different sensation, different stimulation for the child to receive different input from the surrounding and of course from, from their own body. Okay. 
some flash cards on the wall and using this co master training and ask the child to pick up the right words, certain alphabet. So who say that doing academic tasks has to be on the table? It's too formal. Now we want to make it fun, create more joyful experience and of course more successful for the children in order to achieve the task. So these are some of the tasks that uh, we do. Come and check with me later and I will pass you the slides if you want to. Alright, and look at this, throwing the ball to the wall to hit the right target. And normally when we do this, it might be like three color pictures, three color, different picture on the wall. And we ask, we give them instructions in order to hit the right target. Basically on exercise intervention. And since it has proven, so I hope that for those of you who raised your hand just now and said that yes, exercise is important and make it critical. When it is critical, you set the priority and you do it. And trust me, if you continue to do it for three months, six months, nine months or one year, you will definitely see certain improvement in your child. And what I want to conclude today is the best therapist is always you. So good luck to you. Thank you very much.